What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Stack. I'm Alex. I'm Justin. Pete here. And we have three Newsarama reviews for you today. Miss Marvel number 25, New Warriors number 10, and New Avengers number 39. So, you guys want to get right into these crazy yeah, reviews? for a change, sure. let's get right into those reviews. Cool, let's not even discuss no it. No talking. No wasting time. No. We're just going to get right into it. We did just it. learn that Pete's colorblind. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you. And that's why he doesn't like Green Lantern. <laughs> he doesn't get that they're different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like Green Lantern, Red Lantern, I don't know. That's also why he loves variant covers. Because he's stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he really punched me. He really punched uh, me. Pete, actually, just to like deal with this, because yeah. I think this is the perfect time to deal with this stuff, a lot of people have been writing in saying that you're going to snap someday and take us down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, you yeah. know. <laughs> tell, right, when? Do you want to tell us? No, no. Eventually, you'll push me over the edge, and I'll kill you both. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. I'm looking forward to that. Let's Good. talk about Miss Marvel number 25. This is the big anniversary issue, obviously, for Miss yeah. Marvel. Yeah. Longest run on the title ever. Well, 25 books. I well, felt like, uh, like Marvel is kind of doing this with books where they're Flashing back to the old-timey comic, like, in the middle of it, and it's... I, I'm tired of it. At first, I was like, oh, this is cool, and now I'm like, all right, I've had Okay, it. here's uh, why I'm surprised with you led with that, because you have been begging for months to talk about any scroll stuff at all yeah. in right. any of the books, and this is probably one of the first books that deals in a huge way with the scroll yeah, stuff right. that's coming and out. It, but it has it in old timey, the old, you know. But I think it's nice, you see some scroll history, like that's where it's interesting to me, because we all know what scrolls are. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't bring up points, because you're just going to shoot them down. No, no, I'm just no, saying this, We're surprised. having a healthy debate. Are you, um, is this the day? <laughs> <laughs> Snap day. Uh, that all being said, what did you think about? Uh, I liked it. The only problem I have is with the way they're writing Miss Marvel's dialogue. She's like, I should stop eating Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And it's like, come on. We, we can... I, th I thought you were going to say too much relationship stuff. No, I, that's me, fine. That like, that's know, more interesting. Like, but when it's like, oh, I'm a woman. I'm a woman superhero. And it's like, I shouldn't eat ice cream. It's like, come you, on. Okay. There was a time I was in my bathtub, right? And I totally got shocked. And there was a period of about a week where I could hear women's thoughts. And oh. I knew what they wanted. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you, did you learn a lesson? Well, I learned I learned some important lessons. Uh, and basically, I learned that Miss Marvel, you know, she is going to think. Were like you ever that. on Helen Hunt at all? <sighs> Often. <laughs> yeah, yikes. Um, so, uh, I, I would say it's, it's a pretty nicely put together issue. Yeah. It's not my favorite thing I've ever read. I actually no, like the issue in general. It was yeah. just this, the way her dialogue is. I'm just saying, it just seems so fake and so I, easy to write a woman character about, like agreed. that. I don't care about who she dates or who she, who she hasn't called back or whatever. You know, it's like, if you're going to deal with some scroll stuff, let's get into it and really kind of, you know. Well, she, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, there's two of her walking around. It's crazy. Yeah. Spoiler. <laughs> that actually, uh, just to spend another couple yeah. of seconds on this very quickly, yeah. is my biggest problem, and I guess we'll see how it kind of pans out, but in this issue and another thing that we're going to talk about a little, little bit, it's there's two Miss Marvels walking around. Which to me is very different from the thing I thought was going on with the scroll thing, where it's replacing. people are moved and they yeah. removed and they've been replaced. Yeah, which is much freakier than oh, there's just a bunch of them walking yeah. around, which is typical scroll stuff. And I think it's a weird move to not do it that way because it's much less scary when they're like, no, no, there are two of them. We just need to fix fi which one. Yeah. Is the right one. Well, yeah, it's her replacement, but she hasn't quite replaced her yet. Yeah, she's yeah. just walking around, kind of getting used to. I don't know. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, would you guys say pick up the issue? Ah, uh, yeah, I liked it. No. Yeah, I kind of say no as well. All right, let's move so on to talk about New Warriors number 10. Uh, Justin, you were a big fan of the NW back in the... I love the day. New Warriors back in the day. Uh, great bunch That's of characters written with heart. I was a young teenager coming up through the ranks of high school, and they were doing that through superhero life. Uh, anyway, so there's this... Uh, if you want to learn more... Uh, Call no, me no, no, no one cares. <laughs> Move on with your point, please. No, we can talk about how I was growing up. <laughs> no, no. I bought this shirt in high school. Okay, um, that's great. Uh, New Warriors. Did you go to high school in Hawaii? <laughs> yeah. Please, please write in and say, Justin, please stop sharing about you. I went life. to surf high. What you, what you think about the issue? New Warriors. Um, it's a great concept. The way they've changed it in the new uh, post uh, Stanford world in the Marvel Universe. But yeah, they're just not moving on it. It ends up being boring, but the ideas are there. Using these former mutants to be the superhero team, yeah. it's just, it's all there, but it's not written well. It's, it's vague, yeah, it's, you can't yeah. tell the characters apart. It's a little all over the place. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think it knows exactly what it wants to be. Yeah. The other thing that I don't particularly like about this is I'm sick and tired of the mysterious character who you're wondering who it is yeah. plot arc. 
Um, I was kind of thinking about uh, the first issue of the original Thunderbolts, yeah. where you didn't know who the characters were until the last page of the first issue, right. and then that was what the series dealt with. And I feel like it's such a hackneyed device now with uh, Night Thrasher. They don't know who he is. They even talk about, like, who do you think he is? I thought yeah, he was this character. I, I think he's this exactly. other character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every title, it's not a good plot device. Just get yeah. it over with. I don't care. Yeah, I agree. And also, it, this book, you have to compare it to the the Initiative since they're kind yeah. of similar. And I, the Initiative is so much better. I really so. agree with you, though. It's like when you try to describe the book to someone, they're like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. And then you got to be like, no, actually, it's not. They're not really <laughs> with what's good about it. And then it's like, uh, you, know, you know, and I was behind Jubilee, but now she's like, She's way too like hardcore and so like cut off. I'm like Jubilee. What happened? Yeah, you used to be so oh, great. She was so fun loving when you were. Yeah, uh, and all of a sudden she's so taking hard. Taking Wolverine down from that cross that he was crucified oh. on. Whoa, Those were fun <laughs> times. Fun, fun times. Uh, you guys remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. But it's Until just Jesus. one of those things where it's like, <laughs> yeah. I I love to hate the comic. Like yeah. I don't like it, but I also keep picking it up because I want it to be... Alright, so better. don't pick it up. Let's move on to talk about New Avengers number 39. Uh, kind of a one-shot focusing on uh, Echo. Echo. Love her. Oh, man. Uh, you guys love this issue? It was so great, so like well-drawn. and I love the way the pages were set up and I was just like, wow, this is really great. Yeah, there's a great device that bookends the book, a visual device that I love, of her like taking her hand yeah. off her face. Yeah. Really well done. Really nice panel layout. It's great. Uh, the whole book is really, really well done. Again, huge scroll stuff in this issue. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. one, I think, was a little more on the line for me because, spoiler time, you guys, uh, yeah. turns out that Daredevil is a scroll. But then there's right. a question or, in my mind yeah. of, has yeah. Daredevil been a scroll the entire time? Or is, is this two again? Daredevils yeah. walking around? That's yeah, what's exactly. weird. In the way they wrote it, it seems like there are two Daredevils, which yeah. it, it totally takes the stakes out of it for me. Yeah. But I think another spoiler thing to talk about that's interesting is these scrolls seem to have the powers of the X-Men. Right. Uh, which is interesting because yeah. uh, the Fantastic Four, of course, Super Scrolls have their yeah. powers. Yeah. Now the X Men, like, and the same I in Miss Marvel. Great that idea. scroll had like, you know, it had the marks yeah. for the claws. Right, right. And Wolverine it and it's, it's such a smart idea to yeah. do that, especially when you have the Super Scroll been around forever with the Fantastic Four powers. Yeah. To then be like, why wouldn't they just put the powers of all yeah. the other Marvel heroes yeah. in them? Why right. not? Why? Yeah. Why limit it to four? <laughs> to four, especially. Yeah. What would you say? So you'd say pick up this issue? Oh man, yeah, you have to be crazy. Yeah, that. pick it up. I mean, it's this fantastic. is kind of where the the line of the Marvel Universe is going to be shown yeah. to you. So. And this, I'm just going to throw it out here. This is my prediction. End of Secret Invasion, we're going to see one Avengers title. No new Avengers, no Mighty Avengers, just one. Well, That's I a hope great it's prediction. New Avengers. What? I hope it's new. When it might be a whole new name called the Avengers. Yes. Oh, no, no. Or the don't, new don't Mighty touch Avengers. All right, after the break. He's going to snap. He's going to snap right now. He's going to snap. We're going to have viewer mail, so stay tuned. Every day, your finger makes countless selfish clicks. How about a couple for your friends? It's as easy as one, two, three. And then you can get back to whatever it was you were doing. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for the speed round. Yeah! yeah. P. All right, so, uh, Bo Dates. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but uh, it's a fun, uh, well-drawn, kind of cool comic about this crazy cat that keeps eating people. All oh, those cats, man. don't trust them. It's like Garfield. So it was a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's a documentary film pizza. Are you saying speak. cats eat people? All right, you'll learn about it. Okay. Uh, invincible number 49, ramping up trouble in the Invincible mom, run. Universe. Run away from the cat, Mom. <laughs> um, pick it up before the cat gets you. Yeah. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 554, crazy cat guy still fighting <laughs> with Spider-Man. Um, this arc is not quite as good as the previous arcs, but yeah. it's still fun. The freak. Don't pick it up. Come the on, you guys, it's fun. Let him talk about it. It's fun. FX number one. Uh, not like the movie, sad to tell you, uh, <laughs> but it's actually a first, solid first issue. You, you really like the people in this comic, and, and it's a lot of fun. Throw number seven, uh, kind of a story that's um, separate from everything that's been told so far, but setting up the future. Um, I liked it. I'm really on board with this Thor series. Yeah, it's great. All right, that's it for the speed round. Let's move on. Uh, Confessor commented on one of last yes. week's episodes. Colorists, how important oh. are they? How do they con uh, contribute to the experience? How effective can they be? Uh, can they ruin a story for you? Can they improve it? I have to know what is going on with colorists. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I would There's say yes, awesome of course they can. They can save a comic. They can ruin it definitely. Is I it mean, hard to read colors for you, as a colorblind? Yeah, 
Wow. Yeah, does it like ruin really? it for you that you can't see color? Come on, snap. Uh, <laughs> so not... Do this. You got it in you? Know, you won't like me when I'm angry. I, you're always angry. Yeah. <laughs> and you always so... don't like him. Yeah, that's true. See? Fair point. Um, okay. I would say something like, for example, one of my favorite uh, series slash books of all time, uh, mm. Superman for All Seasons. Oh. The best thing about that is the coloring job. I yeah. think the colors are gorgeous in that book. And for me, it takes it beyond Jeff Loeb's great writing on it, Tim Sale's yeah. great penciling. The coloring is what does it for me. I feel like colors are kind of the unsung heroes um, yeah. of comic books in that they can take a, a decent book and really make it visually yeah. beautiful and yeah. tell a story in such a vibrant way. Mm -hmm. um, or a book like Grendel, where it's something, a very specific color choice, still, even though it's simple, it's really great. It gives it such a nice visual thing. Yeah, yeah I, it really can... Uh, and at the same time, like if you, you can tell when they're, they're falling in or they're, whatever. Maybe they've got so many books to do or whatever. That can, it really takes you out of the story if it's not detailed or maybe like a shadow or something covers something up or you can't tell exactly who's fighting yeah. who. And you know. we just don't have enough colors because all these black and white books like. Become a colorist. Go out there and There's learn to color. There's nothing wrong with black and white. <laughs> no, if we just had more colorists in the world, then yeah, like, they're like, what, yeah, six totally. of them? Like, oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then we don't have to have black and white. I would say, actually, I know, I know you're making a hilarious joke right now. Uh, it's not that funny. <laughs> not but that the funny. Showcase and Essentials volumes, I've said this before, yeah. but part of the reason I don't pick them up is because they don't have color in them. Yeah. And if you look back at the actual physical comic books from the era, the colors, even though they're just a flat color, you know, that they were painting into yeah. the specific part, Payment they're over. beautiful. Yeah. They're just really crisp, so, very clean, and they enrich the whole experience. So you are a colorist. If there's no color, you don't like it. You know, wow. you, you just... I'm a non-colorist. Okay. What's it like to live right. in a colorless world? <laughs> I like Does, black and white. Do, it's do we fine look like me. sketch variants? Yeah. <laughs> I wish you guys did. Oh. <laughs> then you would. Then you would pay for stuff. <laughs> that we can. Wow. I don't, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I don't know I don't what that means either. <laughs> if you know what that means, you can uh, call us <laughs> at 888-841-7549 or write into tips at pulpseeker.com and you can upload your video responses on YouTube or comment right here below the video. We'll see you guys <laughs> next <laughs> time. Bye. Bye.